Hey guys, this is Wreck Rider, and we're back to fail at Chica again on Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Guess who's back? It's me! The genius man! Yep. I like those thoughts. And it turns out that we missed a couple of things uh, last time, and one of them is uh, a power-up and the other one is a station that is going to make this boss fight much easier. Well, you know, it would help if you'd actually, you know, use those things on your head called eyes. I mean, it's it's very obvious that there's a hole over there that you could go through. Yeah, this. Yeah, remember, folks. Raikou does not. Raikou has. Uh, Reiku has only has eyes on the back of his head, so unfortunately, he has to turn around to look at everything. Anyway, missile state uh, ammo station. Which is why he always gets shot in the ass. And there's another uh, passage up here that you can go into that has uh, something pretty cool, if I can find it. There it is. It's that green door. It's directly in front of you. Which is why I have eyes only in the back of my head. It's like I keep telling you, and you keep not listening. I don't know why you keep not listening. See, folks, Raikou is like a box of chocolates. You just never know what you're going to get with him. <laughs> Isn't that very true, considering um, the recent... Super Mario Galaxy update. Oh yeah. Have I got have I got yes. rid of that fail token? Yeah, you got rid of the fail token. Be happy, it's not easy to get rid of a fail token, dude. <laughs> so yeah, now that I have that energy tank, I'm gonna go back and save again because I'm paranoid. You're gonna hit the save state button. Uh, and I'm not going to worry about you because you're a jerk. Because <clears throat> he has AIDS. Yes, Hunter Inc. definitely have AIDS. Scanning. In more ways than one. Save state button. You're ridiculous. What? I'm so right though, you're ridiculous. Oh. I'm just saying it now, this boss is not that difficult. It's just really, really long. It's because obviously, since you've gotten to this point in the game, you remember. Yeah, I'm further in the game now that I finally figured out an, a, a little bit of unintuitivity thanks to you, game. I hate you sometimes. Actually, I hate you all the time. I don't know why Ryu says this is his favorite game. What do you expect? It's retro. <laughs> uh, I expect them to at least have a bit more common decency than Atlas. <laughs> So, ba 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 ba. Yeah, this is what you're supposed to do. Use a seeker, mi use a seeker missile. Cocoon falls in the death water. The death water hatches the cocoon, and it becomes something scary. I thought the cocoon dies when it touches the death water. Therefore, um, yeah. I'm gonna go out on a limb already and say, how the hell that thing swims in that when your character floats on the water? Yeah, that made no sense. Atlas, you're making stupid games that don't have sense. I'm going to and hit that you now because that thing's you don't enormous, make... and yet we can stand on that wall. Yeah. How does that work? Yeah, how does it work, dudes? 
And there's actually other death water in this game that's big enough that, or deep enough that you can actually go underneath it. Oh great, the dark quads! Oh joy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, have fun fighting those guys. I just entered the, uh, hey, there's a cutscene! There's dark quads! Yay! Although I think I figured a decent enough strategy to take him out already. It's called use turbo button on head. What? You have a t you know, rapid tap, rapid tap the A button to basically blow the head off, and then while it's spinning around like an idiot, idiot use boost ball. I actually found it easier to try to uh, get rid of its underside first because. Ah. I only found the head easier first because I didn't want to lose all my beam ammo because I was running. Because I mean, if you use it, if you if you blow up the underside first, I find you take a lot less damage. Oh yeah, speaking of less damage, have you noticed how little my shots are doing to it? Yeah. Now you understand why this fight's so long. Yeah. I was wondering why. I was kind of surprised when you said this was going to be 40 minutes. I was like, Jesus Christ. But you do have a tea party with it? It's super effective. You know the sad thing? That's one thing I hate about this boss fight, is that you're supposed to use the dark beam on it, but it's so mobile that it's just ridiculously hard to hit, even with... Wait, you're supposed to use the dark beam? Yes. What? Yeah, it's weak to the dark beam. It's It says okay. that in its scan. Oh, I never... I never read that. I just used the regular charge beam and I kicked his ass anyway. Yeah, he's actually weak to the dark beam. Weird. The thing is, this guy's so mobile that you're better off using the light beam, or the light beam because it has homing and it's faster. Or just and the regular or power beam just doesn't do enough damage. Then again, I'm folks. I'm not playing on hard mode, so derp a derp. So do so do yourself a favor and do me a favor after you beat this game and go play it on hard mode. Okay. Well that is if I ever beat the game. <laughs> it has happened before. There are a few rare games I have not beaten yet. Well I haven't I have a shelf dedicated for it. I haven't beaten Tales of Symphonia 2 yet due to laziness more than anything. Yeah, that game's on that shelf, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I think I'm in, like, chapter 5 or 6. I can't remember. I haven't played the game in so long. It's funny, because I'm at the finale, theoretically. I'm basically, like, right near the very end, and I could theoretically beat the game if I wanted to. It's just, I'm just like, eh, lazy. Sounds like me in Final Fantasy IX. I'm literally, yeah, in, I didn't, I didn't I'm like literally in the last dungeon of Final Fantasy IX, and... Eh... I tried Final Fantasy IX, I just couldn't like the game. I'm the same way with 8. 9 I didn't mind, just 8 was... boring. <sighs> well, it's actually... I actually found uh, 8 a lot more fun if you name, if you gave the characters stupid names. Like the same thing uh, another, uh, um, another guy did. Um, he named... Uh, I'm trying to remember, he named... Uh, uh, he named Squall Emo Git and um, uh, Emo Git. the yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you know because everyone, if you know who I'm talking about, kudos to you. And um, he named uh, God. What was it? He named the uh, the quote unquote love interest of Squall uh, a whore. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Who gave these people permission to play the game? I don't know. I oh wait, I'm sorry. I know who did that. That was me. <sighs> I gave him permission to do that cuz he cuz it was funny as hell. It's terrible. What do you mean it's terrible? They they're not supposed to be that perverted. 
Oh yes, this attack. You want the Chaika to do this attack because you can just keep blasting it over and over again. Yeah. And don't and don't go uh, let it grab you with that tongue and draw you all the way in because if you get hit by that, it takes off like a whole tank. In hard mode. You know, though, I also found that that, that was the best point to super missile, which you super missile, in which he actually usually does a lot of damage. I was just like, dark beam, dark beam, dark beam, at this point. But then again, I for, like I said, I forgot to read the thing because I'm retarded as hell. And you're the one that scans everything. Well, I didn't 